one question I have. Yeah. Maybe three points and the four points. So if I have a, let's say an engine with 320 tons, 350 tons with a high center of gravity, um, and I have to move it on unstable ground. Let's yeah. Say not on a highway, but go through a river or yeah. whatever. I put it on four points in order to have more stability. Yes. And then I put pressure, or let's say I have to pay I would I would prefer pressure. if you have a high center of gravity, <coughs> put it on four points and carefully watch the manometers on your trailer. For instance, you are going into an area where there is soft soil. Yeah. Then your tires push in the soil. Yeah. So that point will go down. The trailer will tip. And you will notice it on your spirit level, raise that point. But be very careful with unstable grounds because it, it, it will not help you too much by raising it because it will just keep shaking down mm -hmm. until it's stable again. Well, not, not that much stable ground, but let's say if I go, uh, uh, if I make a river pass yeah. no, uh, on, with rocks, yeah. no? so sort of, yeah. it's not, uh, there, there's always more than a quarter somewhere. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's not sinking in, but it's it's not really stable. But still, we would suggest to make four points. It depends on your it depends on your center of gravity and your theoretical tipping angle. Now I've said sometimes when it's high center of gravity, use a four point suspension system. But what is high? To you, high means this. To me, high means that. Let's say three meters high. No, the number is not correct. No. What is what is count? What is the defining? Point is this: the theoretical tipping angle. <coughs> if that is on a four-point suspension system, 10 degrees or less, yeah, and you can calculate that. Take the center of gravity of the load, the center of gravity of the trailer, make the combined center of gravity, calculate the theoretical tipping angle for four points. If that is 10 degrees, that's my rule of thumb. Uh, then I say, be careful. Stability is dangerous. I rather do it on four points. Mammoth, ALE, they say if the theoretical tipping angle is less than seven degrees, change it to a wider trailer. Seven degrees is my limit. Go to double wide or three far wide or whatever. Now, you understand <coughs> that ALE has his rules, Mammoth has his rules, Fajoli may have his rules, Richard Kramer may have his rules. What rule are there? Are there any rules? No, there are no rules. That's the, the whole issue. And it is not so easy as with a crane. A crane is very simple. 75% of tipping load is what the crane capacity charge is based on. And that's it. <coughs> very simple. With a trailer, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on height of center gravity, type of trailer you use, etc., etc. So, my very simple rule of thumb is when you load is twice as big as the width of the trailer, you get close to your 10 degrees. And you must be do some calculation and find out what is the stability. Can I still transport it safely? Should I change it to four point? And then again, is it the maximum load of the trailer or is it half the load? No, <coughs> forget, don't forget that there are more things to, to, to think about. <coughs> Here is a very high load on a simple, single, self-propelled transporter with only a base. It looks like it's 245 wide, but it's, the base is only 145. So almost like a, a rail track, so narrow. 